This is what this brave kid did to save his beloved dog. Some people adopt a pet to keep them company, to help them socialize, or to serve as their protector. But for the Jane family, Copper is not any other pet. He is a part of the family and a lifesaver to the oldest son, Connor, who has been battling with a series of medical conditions for years. It is known that pets and humans have that special bond that no one will ever understand. But for kids, this bond seems even stronger sometimes. For Connor, his dog was more than a pet. He was closer than a best friend. He was part of the family. So when Copper got sick, Connor knew he had to do everything to save him. But what can a 10-year-old do to save his best friend? Connor did not mean to stand from the side and thought of the best possible solution. This is what he did to save his dog. Jennifer Jane from Fairport, New York is not only getting the love that she wishes one or two times. She's a single mother to two incredible children who love her more than anything in the world, 10-year-old Connor and a sweet little girl who means the world to his young mother. A mother like any other mother who will do anything for her children. Being a single mother for two is not an easy task, but for Jennifer, all this hardship was nothing compared to the love and joy she got from her kids and the joy of having a family. One fine day, the Jane family decided to add another family member to their happy and warm family. It was not another baby girl or baby boy, but it was a special pup, a Doberman. The cost to raise a child nowadays is no joke, and Jennifer had thought a lot about bringing a dog in. Eventually, she decided that the advantages of having a dog around the kids overcome the financial price and agreed to her children's biggest wish. Little did she know how big of an impact it will have on her family for years to come. From the moment that they laid eyes on that pup, they knew that he's their missing piece, that one family member that will make their home happier and livelier. And without any hesitation, they took home the pup and named him Copper. Copper, a Doberman, is an intelligent, loving, and devoted companion to Connor. They have been inseparable since the day he came home with them. They created a special bond that they will forever cherish. Some say that humans have a closer attachment to their animals compared to their siblings. And to this duo, it may be true, since Connor has a little sister whom he still can't talk or play with. A walk in the park, never-ending running and chasing, and sleepless nights just to play with each other. These are what the life of Connor and Copper are all about. They are Batman and Robin, Bonnie and Clyde, and the peanut butter to your jelly sandwich. Whenever you see Connor, Copper is always there. They can't be separated from each other even for a minute. Connor was six years old when Copper entered their life. Four years have passed. Now that he's already 10 years old and already on the puberty stage, will things stay the same as they were? We are born with invisible sickness in our body, waiting to mature and to reveal itself to us, to the world. We are lucky if that sickness is curable and doable. But for those that aren't, the only thing that we can do is pray and have faith. Being sick with one condition is already worse. What more several types? At the young age of eight years old, Connor Jane was diagnosed with a series of medical conditions. This adorable, sweet, and caring young boy was diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, chronic headache disorder, and nocturnal seizures. Being a single mother who was doing everything and anything for her family, Jennifer's world shattered when she found out about Connor's condition. It's never easy raising your family on your own. Being a mother and a father of the family is not an easy task. Taking care of the family and providing for the needs is such a challenge, let alone having a child who is diagnosed with several medical conditions. Sleepless, relentless, and fear. Those are some of what Jennifer faces in her everyday journey through life. She must stand firm for her three kids, including Copper. She mustn't show that she's worried. In times when our health is deteriorating or when we are at our worst, we need to surround ourselves with all the positivity that we can get. Positive thoughts and with all the positive people who can help us in the healing process. Despite all the treatments, medications, and pieces of advice from specialists, Connor's condition is gradually becoming better. Copper, whom Connor considers as his best friend, is always there for him. Through the good times and most especially during the worst times, Little did they know that this pup is the answer they've been looking for to Connor's condition. An adult, a young boy, a baby girl, and a puppy who all live under one roof. Who will you trust to take care of your sick kid? But if you're the adult who doesn't have any other option, will you leave your kid to a puppy? 
Copper has been the emotional support dog of Connor for two years now, a very crucial role in Connor's life, especially since he's been diagnosed with a series of medical conditions. Being given this new role, it doesn't seem that Copper is feeling pressured at all. Seems like this is what he's born to do. This is his destiny. It was a normal night for the Janes, as they're having their same routine and Connor is up in his room taking a rest. When Copper, out of nowhere, came barking at Connor's door non-stop, Jennifer was alerted by the sudden attention that Copper was giving him. She came to him into Connor's room. She was terrified and shocked to witness for the first time that her precious son was having what she thinks are seizures. It was later on confirmed by a specialist. Jennifer was able to capture that event on camera and was able to show it to a neurologist. Since then, Copper was able to sense if something was about to happen to Connor, and he was able to calm him by pushing his body against him. Nobody knows their dog better than the owner. You know when they are hungry, tired, in a bad mood, or even when they want to play. You know everything about them from head to toe. It was late 2017 when the Janes noticed something unusual with Copper. This pup had a bit of a limp. Worried that something bad might happen to their lovable pup, they hurriedly and without a second thought took him to the vet. Their worries were gone when the vet confirmed that it was only a soft tissue tear. Copper just needed a lot of rest so he could recover soon and resume his normal life as Connor's emotional support dog. Nothing is certain in this world. One minute you're alright, the next you're not. So when they observed that Copper's limp is getting worse, they went on a trip to the vet again. That's when they learned that from the Doberman breed, Copper is prone to several diseases. And that's when the Wobbler's disease was ruled out. Wobbler's disease, or cervical spondylomyelopathy, is a disease that affects the cervical spine in the neck area. This is an incurable neurological condition that affects large and giant breed dogs. The term Wobbler's disease is used to describe their wobbly walk. Now, more than ever, is the best time to show Copper that he's really part of the family to show him that they will not leave him no matter what, that they will take care of him during the times that he was there for them. They will also be there for him. Copper's condition is not just another disease that can be cured in a matter of weeks with minimal checkups and tests. The cost of the consultation, MRI scan, and the surgery left Jennifer in total shock. As a single mother, it's not easy providing for her family alone. Without asking any help from anybody else, can they survive this test that life threw at them? Before all this happened, Copper and Connor were all smiles and play, not wearing anything, but just enjoying every single minute that they're together. Two healthy best friends who don't have any medical conditions nor a disease that is paining them every single day. But where did life take them now? Are they still the same who view everything in positivity? At some point in our life, we already experience the feeling of having someone that means the world to us, having someone that their world revolves around. For Connor and Copper, they mean the world to each other ever since the latter became part of the family. He's Connor's brother, best friend, ally, and the world to him. They are inseparable at some point in their life until Copper was diagnosed with Wobbler's disease. He can no longer play with Connor. He can no longer be his emotional support dog. As much as it pains him, it also pains Connor seeing him like that. What can a young boy do for his best friend? It didn't take long for Connor to realize what he must do to help Copper. Anything that can help him, he will not lose Copper this way. He must help so the vet can do what they had to do to make Copper feel better. Connor knew we didn't have the money for the treatment and testing, so he wanted to help. He didn't have control over what was going on, and he offered to sell some toys. I told him that I could sell some of my stuff too, if he wanted to host a garage sale, Jennifer recalled. At a young age, Connor already has a characteristic of being a giver. Someone who always put everyone else above himself. Such an admirable and amazing trait that only a few kids his age have. It was one fine day when Connor went inside his room and cleared his entire toy collection, including his most loved gaming system. Everything will be put up in the yard sale in Fairport, New York, and telling his mom that copper is more important than any other toys. And having a goal in mind that the money that he will make in the yard sale will make copper feel better. He will have his best friend back. It started off with Connor wanting to help Copper, not expecting anything but to help cover the costs of Copper's testing, treatment, and surgery. Instead, it gave him a sense of purpose, a life lesson that he will forever cherish. Hope and love are what keeps Connor going in his yard sale. It's not easy selling his beloved toys. For a kid, no amount of money can equate the toys that you've loved since the time you got them. But for this sweet and loving boy, it was easy selling them because the life of his best friend was at stake. The money that they got from Connor's yard sale will help them 
for copper's treatment. But imagining the cost of MRI scan, surgery, consultation, etc., it won't be enough. So Jennifer needed to do something too. Jennifer created a GoFundMe account in the hopes of raising $2,800 to pay off the initial cost. Instead, they received more than 10 times they prayed for. They even donated the extra fund they got to other animals in need. They're receiving all the support because they don't forget to give back to others and to their community. The recent update to copper disproved the wobbler's disease. The vet said that the test showed narrowing of the spine between two vertebrae. It was suspected to be infraspinatus tendinopathy and cervical invertebral disc disease. Copper is still undergoing therapy, treatments, and still doing tests. The Janes are taking care of him the best they can and giving him all the love and support they can get. For those who wanted to stay up to date on Copper's condition, Jennifer made a Facebook account to document Copper's condition and name the page Copper's Road to Recovery. We can't tell what the future holds or what you will be in the future, but one thing is certain, that this test that life is giving them will make them stronger than they are today, that this will serve as their biggest life lesson so far.